interesting. They broke in on the news here. We're like, oh, what's going on here? The uh, Supreme Court nominee, Katanji Brown Jackson. Yeah, today the senators begin, I guess, the uh, mm-hmm. the questioning period. Yesterday was just, what, statement day? That's right. Today they're starting to question her, KBJ. Mm-hmm. And uh, we saw they showed two senators over there, a couple of old guys. You know, one leaned down to the other, whispered in one's ear, Kristen goes, <laughs> I'll set her up, you knock her down. <laughs> Got it. I'm going to take care of her. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. bet you ten thousand dollars you can't make her cry and say she likes beer. <laughs> oh, you're wrong, Senator. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Watch. Watch and learn. Watch me. We'll take her down. <laughs> we are gonna grill this woman like you would not believe. Would that be if you were a jurist, the morning of your first, I guess, questioning in front of the Senate panel, which mm-hmm. is what this is. Yes. The biggest nervous dump you've ever taken. Oh my god. I take a nerve dump before I play pickleball. You think I'm not gonna take like a, a weekend tournament? Oh, oh yeah. Th- oh. This is like everyone. The, yes. Well, not everyone. Most of all the eyes of the world. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a big deal. Not here, but the U.S. is watching. I mean, it's the Supreme Court. Your biggest day of her life. If I was KBJ, I'd be in the toilet right now. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah. I mean, she. In fact, I'd probably have to Where run. is the judge? <laughs> I banged the gavel. <laughs> And that's why you won't ever be there. <laughs> oh, and. Mr. Speaker, I don't I don't see where uh, Ms. Jackson is. We move for a five minute recess. <laughs> Does anyone have any salve? I would have a hard time. <laughs> yeah. Being yeah you, would. you know how I do. You know how nervous my bowels are. <laughs> yeah, get. you do. Oh yeah. If I'm in a weekend pickleballer, they will look out for the port yeah. I'm going I'm into that thing. Well, yeah, I, I don't, don't think you could ever be a judge. Even like a no criminal way. judge. No way. No. You'd be so scared of everyone they rolled in there. <laughs> <laughs> <A> little neck <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> Not guilty. <laughs> Uh, or you'd, it'd be like a woman, and you'd be like, oh, why are you being so mean to her? The Johnny Soft on crime, yeah. in person. And that's right. In the yeah. abstract. Oh, yeah. Tough on crime. I'll lob bombs from a long way away. Yeah, put me in front of the criminal. Yeah. There's nothing. No way. You're exactly right. And you, if one guy, oh, if a guy looked at me hard, like, mm, I'm coming after you. Oh, started yelling at you. Mm-hmm. You wait till I'm out. Oh, you but, wait. Oh, but, oh, this is not over. We're overturning yeah. this man's sit. We're overturning it. I didn't like the way they. It, Everybody you, come you, back. Yep, get back in here. I'm not done banging the gavel yet. <laughs> get back in here. Somebody emailed too uh, and said that not only did Charles Manson have the Beach Boys record a song, Charles Manson also had Guns N' Roses record a song. Well, of course he was in jail, but Guns recorded theirs. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd forgotten. But yep. yeah, the emailer is absolutely correct. It was for mm, the Spaghetti Incident. Yes. 1993, a strange little record. Look at your game, girl. Is what you said. That's definitely a Manson song, which he himself recorded in hopes of trying to get a record contract. Really? Manson. Yeah. Look at your game. This is Guns N' Roses. Girl. Look at your game, girl. What a mad illusion. I gotta tell you, I like it. I, I like the Don't beach you dare. <laughs> kind of never learn not to love or what. That's how they rework. Yeah. What, uh, yes. What kind of monster? I like the Beach Boys track, and now I like the Guns N' Roses track. What am I doing? He didn't have an ear for a knack for melody. Neither do I. <laughs> it's the whole thing. You yeah. Know? yeah. That's what's so great about it. Only he had met you. <laughs> I think you got something. Really? You'd <laughs> be like the guys uh, recording the song in uh, Boogie Nights. <laughs> That's right. Feel, 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 feel. Oh, my God. You know, and as a DJ, if Manson told me to play something, you know, I'd just be playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah, we'll play it. <laughs> yeah. I was going to bribe you. Nope. No need. No need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it again. I can't be a, I can't be a judge yeah. because he would scare me to death, of course, Charles Manson. We lost him, didn't we? He died, didn't he? Manson. Manson. Yeah. He's been dead a few years, I right. believe. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, these are more things that celebrities, you don't know about them, and maybe they wish you didn't know it about them. The Beach Boys recording the Charles Manson song was one. In a 2008 movie, and we've heard this, and it is accurate, the movie is called Little Ashes. Robert Pattinson, who's now playing the Batman, uh, pleasures himself in a scene, and he actually did it because he said they tried it a dozen times with him just pretending, and this is his words now. He says, 
It just wasn't right. It just wasn't natural. I had to go ahead and go through with it. Dude. That's what he said. What's the movie? Movie is called Little Ashes. But I'm not thinking, the lighthouse movie. No, what's the lighthouse movie? He didn't remember. No, he was cranking in that one too, apparently. Oh, God, Pattinson. Yeah. That's another movie. It was typecast. <laughs> What does what our, our friend B.B. Shea call him? Emo? Yeah. He knows yeah. I don't know what that means. That's, yeah, he does. That's right. He says, as Pattinson, as Batman, is like is an emo version of Batman. and uh, Which I think is an insult, but I'm not sure. He said, uh, uh, our boy B.B. Shea said that he fell asleep during that movie multiple times. The Batman, which everybody loves, including Chris Dam. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I almost did yesterday? I, a mentor told me recently, be unpredictable. Be spontaneous. You know, recently, he said, you know. Yeah, your, yeah. Your on-air persona cannot be just predictable, right? That's right. I remember right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was sitting there at Chicken Salad Chick, just being unpredictable and all. <laughs> Nowhere else. Nowhere hey, else. I've already I'd gone. Been stretched, to, I'd, been sweated. I'd done all that stuff. I'd, I had my stretch, all that. And I thought, you know what I ought to do? I ought to just run over to the theater and watch the Batman. Just out of nowhere. Not it's tell, right around the corner. Yeah, not tell anybody. I wasn't going to tell my wife. I wasn't going to tell anybody. Just not show up at home when she thinks I'm coming home. But she tracks you on your phone. That's the problem. She, through her, yeah. through your phone, she tracks you. That's what she would have. She would have known. Because you're not moving for three hours. Right. But she, it would have said, he's over at the cinema. And if she texted me, I probably would have said, yeah, what of it? I don't have to tell you every move I'm, I'm unpredictable. Right. I'm That's un- why you married me. Correct. Seen the Batman. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little emo, but yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> It's like he's pleasuring himself. It's yeah. weird. I don't know. <laughs> in the bat suit? This actor. <laughs> this actor. Apparently he cranks it a lot in movies. <laughs> All right, cut. All right, Robert, listen. Um, love the energy. <laughs> Not what we're calling for in this scene. <laughs> All right. So, so, yeah, he did. He did it. I guess that's twice in movies because the other one is that lighthouse movie. From, I can't remember the title, but that's only a that's few more years recent. old. I think it is that's just like, the lighthouse, right? That's the that's title. That's what it's called. It. Yeah. Was it him? It was him. Definitely him. Yeah. In 2008, this says here that the movie is Little Ashes, and he's talked about it before. I don't and said, know that title at all. He, I mean, either. Never I heard just of looked it. it up. It says it was like a Spanish British okay. drama. So he says he he it wasn't natural enough when he was just like faking it. So he had to go all the way through with it. You know what, Chris? Pish posh. Yeah, act. Come on and act. They didn't show it. There's that another one. What, was, what about the lighthouse? Did, did he learn how to do it? No, he did it for real. He did it for real. No, in the uh, I thought he did in the lighthouse, didn't he? And that was the whole thing too. No, was it? I don't want to Google that. I, that's what. I think <laughs> did you we, want that in your history? I think we did read Pat that. Said crank it in the in the lighthouse. <laughs> I think he did. I think that was real. I, I mean, I I believe that's the whole reason we talked about it is because he is a method actor. Well, or, no, because that's I think that's his first. I thought we talked about it because I had read that that's this is the very first, first time he appears on screen. That's right. His character is cranky. That is true. Biggie, Google it and find out. Jeez. No. Uh, Take the hit. You told me this, and I didn't even know it. Chloe Sevigny uh, gave Vincent Gallo pleasure, because they were a couple at the time, in a movie called The Brown Bunny. That's a real, and she has talked about that numerous times, and says she has no regrets, because she wanted the movie. None? That's what she said. Uh. I. She said that um, she's publicly talked about it, doesn't regret it, not ashamed of it, did it for the scene. They were a couple. So that she did it mm-hmm. right there on the camera. Jeez, Louise. Mm-hmm. And finally, now this was She's my, an interesting talent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this was very interesting to me here. Uh, and I'd never heard this one. Gary Busey once got into a fist fight with another actor because he says he saw heaven during a near death experience after that motor, motorcycle crash in 1988. Gary Busey did. During the making of the 2003 movie Quigley, Gary was supposed to film a scene in heaven. And during the scene, looked around and said, "It's even close what it looks like. This doesn't look like. <laughs> this is wrong." <laughs> and the other actor came over and said, "Dude, you don't know what heaven looks like. Come on, let's get done with the scene." He goes, "I do know what heaven looks like." And they got into a fight, and he punched the, <laughs> the other guy. Lord. <laughs> and he said, "This isn't even close to what the real heaven looks like." Yeah, you got it all wrong. <laughs> it's not good at all. <laughs> We have Busey's famous interview uh, about his new movie. Tell me about your new movie. What new movie? Gary, the 1.8 days. Yeah, I know. You have to say the whole thing in the damn question. Or else it doesn't make sense. It's dyslexic. Ask me the question. Okay. Tell me about 1.8 days, the 3D horror movie. No, no, no. That's my answer to you. Time to turn it off. Turn it off. This isn't working at all. <laughs> Finally, Busey comes back to answer the question. Tell me about your new movie, 1.8 Days. Oh, that's neat. It's going to be 3D. 
Thank you.